Stephen, you've, you've had a cracking season. Um, yeah, I've, I've, uh, I'm over the moon and delighted. Um, I've had a couple of uh, semi-finals, a couple of finals, and I just finished with a semi. Um, and it's, it's been a long time coming. Um, you know, I got myself back in the top 16, and it's given me that extra bit of belief that I've needed. And um, I've enjoyed every minute. And how are you feeling ahead of the Crucible? Um, I'm trying not to think of the Crucible just yet. Um, obviously, I'm doing the press day here um, with John and the, and the trophy um, and stuff. But yeah, I'm having this week off from my kids. Um, they're uh, on still on Easter holidays. Um, and for Monday next week, the phone's going off and uh, I'll be grafting. I'm uh, looking forward to it then. Uh, but like I said, uh, just said earlier, when you get in the car going to Sheffield, it gives you a big buzz, you know. And it's fair to say, since reaching the semi-finals, you've been disappointed at the Crucible. I have, yeah. I've, yeah, you've, you've, you couldn't put me any blunter, really. Um, no, I've, the wheels have fell off a couple of times there. I was fighting up against Mark Selby. Um, and then he goes and pulls, pulls the game back, beats me and gets to the final. That might have been a chance there that I've, uh, I've let slip. But um, I met John there, Higgins. Uh, I've met um, Steve Maguire there. And I've met Ryan Day there. And they've all played well. So... I've, uh, it's a hard school, you know, it's a tough school, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it this year. Uh, I've got a lot more confidence. Um, I just can't wait to get there and, and, and just kick off to a good start. And what makes the Crucible so special? Oh, it's the atmosphere, the, the closeness of the cameras, the crowd, the backstage is all so tight, um, great sponsors, um, hospitality is great, um, the venues, you know, it's a one-off. Um, it's everyone can see the view, viewing from all the crowds is just absolutely unbelievable. You know, uh, the balconies, uh, the tables play so well. It's, it's so many positives. It's, 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 a, it's a list as long as my arm. And Stephen, it, it looks wide open this year. Um, well, I, th I think um, you know it's been wide open for for a while. Um, so it's just a matter of who, who turns up in those two weeks. Um, you know, John. John played some terrific stuff last year. Uh, Judd come about. Uh, he showed showed his hand you know, on, on the world scene. Um, you know, Ronnie's Ronnie's still about. I think uh, Ronnie could turn up and easily uh, devastate, be devastating for two weeks. Um, you know, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and play and enjoy it. Um, and that's been a long time for me to say that. Uh, I've, I've been there in in heaps. I'm driving up there in heaps of panic. Um, so hopefully this year I'll be, I'll be able to enjoy it for what it is. But yeah, you'll be doing well to pick a winner, I think. And what would it mean to you if you were to lift that famous trophy you stood next to at the moment? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a moment that um, I've, I've obviously thought about over the years. Um, Mark Williams sort of dashed my hopes in, in one of the years, 2003, but he played outstanding. Um, Ronnie beat me from 10 each in 15 minutes. He's set century, century, 90. Uh, they were the two years that I had self-belief was there and everything else. But yeah, this this tournament is is one of the greatest sporting events on in the world. And um, yeah, I've, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to play every match as it comes. Uh, it's just it was nice having photos a minute ago with it with John. But uh, I know he's still got one hand on it, so um, he's not going to let not let it easily, you know, go. So I'm up for it, and uh, and all the other lads will be, and uh, we'll just see what happens at the end of the two weeks.